Hello, in this video we're going to look on an AI animation script for stable diffusion they call loopback wave. And to install that script we need just follow a few links. One, all the links will be provided down below for you so you can easy click and go to resource pages. If you want to go down where it says copy script, don't just click on the script because if you do, because it's just Python file, it will open like this for you inside the browser. What do you want to do? You just go ahead, right click and select save link as. After this, navigate to your stable diffusion installation folder, go down to the scripts, click on this and save in this place. This script ffmpeg that we need to install it. For this, go to ffmpeg.org, click download, click on executable file and just follow the installations. Personally, I found out when you install, it does require restart your system to be sure all environmental variables will read properly in your system. After you restart your computer or your services, you should go down to the image to image with a script, open script and you will see right here loop back wave. 1.4.1 should be available for you to use. Before we start using, I just want to be sure some settings are available for you. If you go inside the settings and click saving to a directory, be sure right here is uncheck save directory and most likely you will have it something like date, like this variable, just erase this. What's happening if you don't? When script start creating directory and inside the directory it will create it also subdirectory with a date and a script does not read properly so you will have it errors when ffmpeg try to compile all those images together into the video and if you have it, this error be sure this option save image subdirectory is unchecked and directory name parent is removed. As well, when you change those variables, just click apply settings and reload UI. For the script working, I also recommend to enable noise multiplier option on top. If you missed in previous videos, you can do this by going inside your settings, go down to user interface, scroll down below where it says quick setting list, click on the middle, find the initial noise multiplier, select and when you do, you'll notice it just will options here, apply settings, reload, and on the top, you should have this enable. In some cases, you may also need modify configuration file, and I will provide link down below for you in the video, so you can have it step by step how to do it. First, I want to be sure the image that I want to animate will look properly. For this, I'm going to text to image tab. I'm using RPG v4 a checkpoint for this, as well the prompts is from the manual for RPG4. Link for the model and manual will be down below in description. As well, we'll set sampling method to DPM++ to M cars 35. We set little bit taller 768 as well CFG scale to 6. Here's our image after we're creating. We want to go ahead and click send image to image. And inside the image to image, you'll notice we'll have it all our prompts and negative prompts available for us. As well, we have it all settings set. Sometimes you may need to select properly the sampling method for this, but rest it should be set OK. Scroll down to the scripts, click down and select loop back wave. So it's as opening. Let's see what we have it. I like to set to 90 frames. We have it 20 frames per wave. This one is we leave it as default. It's how many frames between its a motion. Additional the noise. I will keep a top one 2.05 you can they recommend to keep it about 0 0.3 or lower can lower value so 0 0.5 is work well and max additional the noise 0 0.6 and we'll have it noise multiplier set to zero if the image look too blurry or look different you can always modify some of these denoise strings areas as well i'm going to paste the prompts I wanted. Let's look what is happening. Right here you can see first it's a frame where this happened. Next we have a double column and the seed after this. You don't necessarily need to have a seed. You can remove it if you need it. But after this you need to have a prompt. Prompt don't need to be in a quotes and quotations but it's need separated by return cartridge or enter between each different keyframe. We check save as video. You can set how many frames per second you want to have it video quality. Usually I want to try to create the best quality as well. Video encoding. I think that currently it's a 
WebM supported. If you don't have an FMPEG found, you can put it path here directly to executable file. And I uncheck the cut video on the segments. And when you're done, just go ahead and click generate. After generation complete, you can notice right here, you have the images that you can preview. Notice, as I said before, it is a little bit blurry because needs still adjust working a little bit with uh, the noise properly. Notice how it's a little bit pulsating on a background. This is what's happening with this wave, which is, I think, a very clever way done to keep it our morphing. Face is keeping very stable and a nice with less distortion. Of course, this is very simple script, not very complex, but it is provide very interesting result for animation. I hope you find this video interesting. If you do like it, please put a thumbs up, subscribe, share. All your support is greatly appreciated, but not required. Thank you. Have a great day.